Hey, Bill, I gotta ask you since you're here. Now, of course, everyone knows you as an amazing actor, and you started your career at such a young age. Uh, what was your favorite character to play over all those years? Well, you know, Will Robinson uh, resonates quite strongly with me because he was a little superhero and he had his laser gun and he used it. You know, he controlled the robot pretty much and saved everybody's butt week after week. Anthony Fremont, though, on The Twilight Zone was probably the, the most powerful mutant in the universe, taking control of an entire planet. So he's a pretty uh, resonant character within me as well. But there's a bunch of them. Bill, it's interesting you chose those two, and here's why. Both those characters kind of came full circle for you as an actor. With Anthony, when they redid that episode in the Twilight Zone movie, you were there, you were part of that episode. And then uh, with Will Robinson, for those of you who haven't seen the latest incarnation of Lost in Space, you kind of came back into that world as well. So those two characters resonated with audiences so strongly that you, you were in them at the beginning and in the end. I agree with your astute observation, Bill. Thank you. And uh, yes, indeed, uh, I got to play the real Dr. Smith on the current Lost in Space uh, Netflix television series. And we did a sequel with Cloris Leachman and my daughter Liliana um, when Twilight Zone was uh, revisited in uh, 2003. We did a sequel to It's a Good Life with Cloris, which was a, a real trip. That was great to do. It's still a good life, right? Is that the episode? Exactly, yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, that is so cool.